Now I know I've been making a lot of spaghetti squash recipes lately, but I promise you these ones are really quick and I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't at least show you this delicious pistachio pesto. And of course, as Jeff Jean-Pierre says, what is dinner without a little dessert? And I promised you these would be quick, so here we go. Into a small food processor or a blender, you're gonna place in two cups of fresh basil leaves. Then you're gonna place in a quarter of a cup of pistachios. Then also a half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Then for acidity, you add the juice of one lemon. Next, pour in your olive oil, about a half a cup's worth. Then finally add one clove of garlic, a pinch of salt, and some black pepper. Then pop that lid on and blend everything up until nice and smooth. Now it should have a beautiful green color to it and the consistency should be both rough and smooth and should easily drizzle off of a spoon. Place it into an airtight container and it'll store in the fridge for up to two weeks. And there's so many delicious things you can do with this pesto. I'll have to do a video on that someday. But today we're putting it on spaghetti squash. And if you need a refresher on how to make the spaghetti squash noodles, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And there's no exact portion here. Just spoon on that pesto as much as you'd like, mix it up well. And at this point, you could even add some grilled chicken and some tomatoes to make it a full meal. But either way, this spaghetti squash with the pesto is so delicious. And don't forget to top it off with a little extra shredded Parmesan. And there you have it, bon appetit. All right, let's move on to the dessert. Get a pan on over low to medium heat, place two tablespoons of butter in there. And as soon as that's melted, we're gonna pour in two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then add a quarter cup of chopped walnuts and a quarter cup of chopped pecans and a quarter cup of raisins. Then add a pinch of sea salt teaspoon of cinnamon, and about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And you only have to stir everything around for about a minute or so until everything starts to caramelize and the raisins are nice and plump. And then pull it off of the heat and immediately serve over some spaghetti squash. Mix it up a bit until the butter and spices are well incorporated. And this is a fun little dessert. I mean, you're eating squash, but it tastes so good. And it's such a light dessert that doesn't leave you feeling heavy afterwards, which is always nice. It's sweet and simple. And that's it for the spaghetti squash, guys. We'll see you next time.